In battle, Congressman George Santos has only been in office for four months and has already made a name for himself far beyond his Long Island district. In an exclusive interview with CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer, Santos reveals how he intends to use that notoriety to try and get results in Washington. And Marsha joins us now on what he had to say. Marsha. Well, Dick and Christine, after his inauspicious entry into the House, the last thing you might have expected to hear from George Santos was a detailed plan that he thinks will finally force Congress to repeal the SALT bill. Whether it works actually remains to be seen, but it's something no one else has tried. Marsha, I've made it clear. The Speaker needs my vote for the next debt limit. The man who some say lied his way into Congress tells me he's got a bold plan to force Congress to repeal the SALT bill that limited the deductibility of state and local taxes. He's simply going to trade his vote on the debt limit for SALT. Well, you're really saying you're holding hostage your vote on the debt limit. And that's my vote to hold hostage, and, and my, my district supports me for it. In a wide-ranging interview, Santos also told me he's learning to use the notoriety his in discretion thrust upon him. When you're running for Congress, Marsha, you're running to go be the voice of your community. Now, it happens that I have a very loud voice and I, I, I'm starting to understand what I can do with it for the good and, you know, take lemons and turn them into margaritas, not lemonade. It's boring. So I can assure you Santos was anything but boring during the extended edition of The Point. He talked about everything from his favorite joke late night talk show host told about him to how he's going to co-sponsor a bill with, get this, AOC. Hmm. Tune in. It's must-see TV. Wow. Guys. Not sure AOC has heard about that yet. I don't think she said yes. No, something tells me, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. We might have to have a margarita after that. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Marsha. Thanks, Marsha. Catch Marsha's full interview with Santos on a special one-hour episode of The Point this Sunday at 1130 right here on CBS2 and streaming on CBS News New York.